There's a certain healing process that, that goes on. It is therapy. But we're all motivated to do what we strongly feel is going to make a difference, whether it's working with welfare or any type of health care. This is my welfare. You know, this is my health care. Hopefully it's uplifting to someone, you know. It's uplifting to me. The concept with the bees. The bees uh, started in 96. It was a show that was basically formulated around going to a visit to the hive. The hive was based on kind of uh, the birds and the bees, but the direction became a swarm, and the swarm developed, and the show was maybe like 50 bees, and then there was like a uh, larger scale piece, which was hive. The exercise developed from kind of a fear of bees. My father had a huge rose garden around our house, and so really I was encircled with bees. Uh, highly allergic to bees as a child, uh, constantly in fear. The doctor said, run like hell if you see a bee. So that's what I did. But still, anything that you run from with that intensity, you've got to be interested in what's going on with that. This is a uh, ringworm. He's uh, actually the first uh, icon that, that came out of a Parasite series. This is much more simplified than the original uh, creation. The series is kind of like a sequel to the first series, which was Float, which was really mostly above water. And that was kind of like a story of like Noah's Ark versus Gilligan's Island versus kind of Lost in Space. I'm not like uh, picking a color because I like a color. It's uh, because the painting calls for that color. It's not really a, a choice that I have. It's kind of weird. It pretty much paints itself. It's just taking control. See, this is where I lose control. And then the brush has a mind of its own. style regardless, but whether you develop balance or develop uh, a way of, of framing things, that comes with your own eye. Um, no one can do that but you. With Alco, the whole process was kind of like an underlying current that just kind of picked me up. I started curating shows. There were little groups and patches of people all throughout Atlanta that were interested in doing shows. And we would find like an old abandoned warehouse space or we would find some wretched place that needed a little bit of cleanup. And so the owners were like, well, if you're gonna mop the floor, yeah, go ahead and have a party here. So it really just kind of channeled into these events where you could have these parties where you could actually feature new and what you thought were the upcoming artists and people that you really were enthralled by their work. Hence, Alco was born. It's just a collection of, of artists that are up and coming, that haven't received their fame. Really, now it's the same thing that I've been doing for the past 20 years. It's just that now it actually has a cycle. It actually operates a little more 
like a machine in some way. It's like I don't even think about it anymore. Yeah, we do a couple t-shirts here at the old alcove. For close to 15 years, we basically worked on computers doing design work from the mass retail, from Walmart to the Olympics to just about every type of diversion you can think of, working on coffee mugs to shot glasses to apparel, embroidery, any type of t-shirt design. I love doing t-shirts. Silk screening, the most primitive form of advertisement, it just becomes addictive. It's a great way to kind of uh, explain your mood for the day. Maybe put out a warning if you're uh, fairly grouchy. A lot of it was therapeutic. As I sold painting, I wanted to put it on a t-shirt so I wouldn't miss it so much. This is meat and potatoes. And uh, this was from Float. Uh, there were actually two of them uh, that were printed out of that series. It was this one. And then the actual title piece, which is Float, we've got that right here. It's just the, uh, the lion, um, kind of like the, the whole book cover kind of concept. This was Innocence. This is a painting that came out in 1997. This is out of uh, the Lost Innocence series. They're all based on like children's book. This is the cow that jumped over the moon, of course. The coveted icon Adrenaline t-shirt. It's been around for quite a while too. I say this was the second t-shirt that really started to uh, make some changes. This has been really good sellers. Immortality. A little chameleon there. Parasite. Kind of on a retro design. This is a little devil monkey, which is uh, kind of a parallel to uh, the friendly blue monkey. This is Godzilla. And uh, this is out of a new series called uh, Beaker Freaks. The kids have really taken on to it, and I think that the, the adults that think that their kids have taken on to it. When I am taking the paintbrush with some India ink and sketching out like a design, I can just take that straight into the computer and scan it in and work up some color, make it into a t-shirt. There was always someone that needed some type of illustration, not necessarily the Warner technique or look, but I think if I look back at the projects that I took on, I can tell that there are aspects of it that you know definitely helped develop my style. With this show, uh, One Nation Under Rehabilitation, the concept is I wanted to uh, play off the city, play off Atlantis. It kind of builds up your anticipation that all things come to an end. But this is basically to make you think. The overall impact is already laid out in front of us, and it's just what we decide to do next. This piece is called Lost in Liberty Bill. Some of the parts and pieces in here are from remnants that you should find on long walks. But the city was Atlantis, and that's what the whole show is actually kind of uh, embellishing, kind of a parallel between our world and Atlantis. Not necessarily pointing any fingers, but just kind of making a statement, an untold statement. Thematically, uh, everything is connected in some form or fashion. In most of the series, everything fits together um, and is necessary. The title piece, Fathom, it takes us down to where we're located. It's like the map. on androgyny. The title is Subterranean Gothic, which would be kind of like American Gothic from the early days. We've become such machines, um, male, female, that we really pursue all of our dreams. You know, it doesn't really become a partnership in many cases. This shirt 
shirt actually is, is fairly ironed. Uh, but that is because I took it to the cleaners. Just in general, I, I don't iron. It's one of those things that I say that I'll do, but I never will. But really, this is kind of like what we say that we're going to do. This goes back to the whole process of recycling and you know trying to get into new patterns to be uh, critical of what we do for the fact that there's you know much more history that needs to be taking place on this planet. We have to share this environment. So really, the Iron is those things that we forget or set aside. It's called heavy rotation. Actually, it's uh, one of those pieces that uh, you're trying to t turn the negative energy into positive energy. It was kind of like, in a way, a prayer when all the uh, hurricanes were hitting the coast. Uh, it was really kind of based on turning this, this, this huge, horrible storm that was covering you know, the entire state of Florida. Uh, into something a little more whimsical and almost kind of like building a, a protective spirit. Uh, this one's called Lifeline, and this is basically just the lure, and it's kind of like the close-up on Whoville, uh, which was where this woman is kind of dealing with uh, temptation, um, whether temptation being good or temptation being bad. Um, it doesn't look like it's necessarily a good thing uh, in this piece, but it looks good. She seems to think that it is. Ready for the I'm, I'm breathing. It's awesome. You made this stuff? I think it's all very toxic. Nah, nah, I'm sure it's a cow. <laughs> So I think one, my left lobe switched places with my right lobe. Actually, the right lobe never really worked before, so. Was I what it's done to be now? When it's clear, no one cares anymore. What's your favorite artwork here? The cows? Those are ah, cows. yeah. Those are very cool. To me, I dare. Super Countess is coming through. Yes.
you walk inside that door and check out my secret room. We've got a couple of fine artists here with their fine work. We've got Chris Warner of Thought Forms. And you guys have a gallery? Galleries at uh, Alcove just opened. Yeah. Just opened up, is that right? Just had our grand opening uh, this Saturday. Tell me about this particular cow. It's kind of super cow, isn't it? It is a uh, super cow. Overall, we wanted it to make it dynamic, have a uh, flowing cape, and that was really the uh, the biggest part of this, this job, was uh, trying to make this actually look organic and actually flow. But uh, I don't know, I think we did it. Wowie zowie.